everyone, I'm Larry Ridley. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. We've got two teams here looking to find a way to win. It's the Saints coming in at 3-11, going up against the Buccaneers, who come in at 3-11. So, with the call of this Week 16 matchup, let's hand it over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. First open back in 1975, there's a look inside the iconic Mercedes-Benz Superdome in downtown New Orleans. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the New Orleans Saints. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Saints team as they interplay. And losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. On the other side of the field for the visiting ball. going right and they go the wrong way on this one losing yardage back at the 12 it's a loss of four there bringing up second down and on this play the read for the quarterback was the defensive end and he was totally focused on the quarterback he should have given it off inside to the running back instead he kept it and ended up taking a loss on the play and able to push his way forward here for a good little gain four yards on the pick up there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven Partner, I know we're in the era of the mobile quarterback, but it's still an element of surprise when that position keeps the football. And what a nice gain on that play. That is caught at the seven-yard line. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Connor Barth out now for the Buccaneer field goal try. From the left hash, a chip shot here. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. Take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. 
Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now, the confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it, we can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. Tim Carey now for Derrick Henry. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. And now for the offense, this is play number 11 here on this drive. And the box with an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Now Barkley. Partner wins in the second quarter, and I guess you can kind of look at it both ways. The offense, they've got to figure out what they're going to do because they haven't scored any points. But if you're the defense, you're feeling great about what you've got going on. The only concern you have, if you get to the half, what adjustments will the offense make to try to defeat you? And Hopkins' kick is good. And that will tie us at 3-3. It's Henry, and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. See if they stay on the ground for second down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves them with a third and three. I think we know by now that every run is not going to be broken and get all the way to the end zone. But these short ones still have their value. You can still set up the play action and throw the football. You control the clock because then you have the ball and they don't. And often the physicality sets the tempo for the game. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. A give to Henry. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Boy, that's a lot of sirloin steak to be taken down for no gain, partner. <laughs> Are you trying to suggest that he is a huge man? He is a, Not a, just a big, big man, big, a huge man. Big, big boy. Well, how about the credit then for the defense to be able to chop that big tree and put him on the ground? I know back when you played, it took four of you to take a guy like that down, right? Well, that's for sure. And you know what, know what else? I didn't want to challenge him to dinner either. <laughs> Here's Barkley looking for his running back, and he's got him. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Give him seven on the play, and it'll be fourth down. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. Please tell me this doesn't.
They'll come out in the pistol. Now it's Jackson, and they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Back now here live in New Orleans. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Again, we'll see the pistol here. They'll run it with Jackson, and he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. That'll go as a loss of five. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Two plays in a row, the defense won, stacking up the running game. They've got to feel good about themselves, but something has to be in the back of their minds. Are we being set? Oh, no, he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Saints. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Keep it with Henry on first down. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Now, this will be the ninth play on this drive. One of the things that's really difficult for an offense is often identifying how to block a 3-4 defense. Well, when they're coming on a blitz, even more difficult. They're elusive targets and hard to hit. Derrick Henry, one yard officially on the pickup. And it'll leave him with a third and 11. And he's back here in the struggle department in this one like he was a week ago. And, partner, I think you can pin some of this on that O-line that room to run, just not, not there. You mentioned last week that it felt like the offensive line was getting beaten to the punch by the guys across the ball. Well, it was that. pretty evident, I thought. I mean, they were off the ball fast, penetrating, getting into the offensive backfield, really spilling a lot of runs before they got started. So I thought your observation was spot on then, and you're, you're, you're right there again this week. Same thing is happening, not able to get started because they're not able to control the point of attack. And Hopkins' kick is good. And they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals at six. They brought in an extra defensive back here, so probably not expecting a run on third and three. A good call. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And he fires one, but incomplete. Tyrell Williams was the intended target, and it's fourth down. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? So they get the three here, but you wonder whether that's going to be enough. Yeah, I mean, you've now made it so they need a touchdown rather than a field goal to catch them. But you're right. If they'd gotten six out of that drive, this would be a much different game. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not, because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. It'll be a loss. 
loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Now Kessler. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. The Saints with an extra defensive back here on third on the field. Could they blitz? Back to throw. Gets it to Benjamin. It's caught. Give him eight yards on the play, and they pick up the first. And they're going to speed things up here. And they'll get up and spike it right at 40 seconds to go. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. Now let's go. Three, let's go. He'll look to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. No gain on that one, and it's going to bring up a third down. Here's Kessler surveying the field. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. He was looking for Travis Benjamin that time. So down six, and they know they need this one on fourth down. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. Well, Charles, the old saying, the old cliche, if you will, points at a premium, that certainly applied here, didn't it? And that almost like opened up a time capsule, didn't it? Old school football, low scoring, close game. What a way to finish it up. You loved it, didn't you? You I loved did. the defense. I certainly did. Brought back the images of the game of old. So for the Saints, the wins have been hard to come by, but they get one here to move to four and 11 on the year. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Atlanta Falcons. Meanwhile, for Tampa Bay, the slide continues as they drop now to three and 12. And they'll be back home next week as they're set to take on the Carolina Panthers. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. I'll be heading to the hotel. Charles, he's off to Bourbon Street. No, I'm not. <laughs> yes, we say so long from New Orleans.